And we're back to Mass Effect 3 Citadel, part 3 of random side questing. Dark, Yay. Dark and Ren just quest. trying to get all of this stuff done. Uh, my Norditas. Alright, so to the holding area now that I remember what I was doing. Mm. Mm. What, what would there be you doesn't have side quests? Come on. You're not wrong. At least these ones are, so are somewhat interesting. <laughs> At least they aren't. Hey, go get me 50 bear asses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Darner Vosk. I do not remember him. Because we've never met him before. Wow. Fair enough. Oh, I will do it. Kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? The Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously hmm. think he'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, enough. <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think Arya. You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Arak. No need to candy coat it, Arya. Ah, oh, Shepard. You think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thought so. Also, that is not the person who last we heard was in charge of the Blue Suns. We might have killed a few sons, a few of the Blue Suns last time as well. Yeah, but the one that we know is in charge of the Blue Suns got away. It was during Zaid's loyalty mission. Uh, yeah. So something happened to him. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the recipient. Well, he did get away, but we did also kind of crash his ship. <laughs> He might just not have survived the crash or, you know, power struggle. No, he, he got away. I, I'll have to double check what happened to him, but I think I know what happened. From what I could tell by the cutscene, we disabled his ship but too far away to give chase because the you know, base was blowing up. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Say, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. <laughs> Even... <laughs> Well, I mean, even, he, even her be her first subordinate knows that that's an upgrade. I mean, Sedaris did say herself, he's a weak-willed toady. Yeah, that too. Doesn't take much. Now, 
Oh, Rock is over in the commons, and... Oh, yeah, we need to deliver that flag to the officer now that we know what that is. Yeah. And that should more or less wrap it up. Shepard, the council yeah. Hey, one that way. You can say that again. Yeah, I mean, I really don't give a shit who's in the lead. <laughs> as long as the gang answers to her. Yup. There's General Raka. We know him. He was in the first game. Huh. Definitely don't know him by him then. General Raka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. Mm -hmm. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let yeah. me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. All right, nothing's ever simple. Well, you just got out with the weapons dealer. That shouldn't be a problem. We're practically best friends with every fucking merchant in the Citadel anyway. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Exactly. <laughs> Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the mark. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers are through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, and it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Literally. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to go scanning plants to find something that's worthwhile to him. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be back. The first, that's off, that officer. Yep. Where? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. We know you. Huh. Major Kathea. Yeah. Liara's mom. Yeah. Well, father, technically, if you want to go that route. Beatles, the bartender. That's our a bartender here. Yeah, she's a good way to mill them. Hey, yeah. I remember you, Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena, you were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer, so I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Mm. Matriarch Benazio was, um, was 
was her mother. And, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. <laughs> you mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. <laughs> Man, her mouth is entertaining. Yep. Liara would love to meet you. Why? Doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Nezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a human commander. That used to work for Cerberus. Sound. I only work with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now. I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with me. Anyway, <laughs> you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on her. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. But you know, it's to keep an eye on her if you're literally talking to her. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, that's that sh that that standoff goes a little differently if you if you romance uh, Liara. Hmm. I can imagine. But we have priorities, and our priorities are best here. Mm-hmm. Well, I wonder, can you, if you go talk to Liara now, does... Can you bring it up? Let's yeah, find, good question. Let's find out. I've never, I've never done this before since I never, you know, made that connection. Hmm. The bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. <laughs> <coughs> of course you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. surprise you with anything. I'm a very good information broker. <laughs> yes. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Make her go talk. Yeah, might as well. Liara. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, fine. Well, that didn't take a lot of convincing. <laughs> this ought to be entertaining. Oh, hey, that gate got us something. I am not my mother. You did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And you bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. The matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you. Especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on. You know how Asari work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've left the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. So, yeah. My dad was a Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. <laughs> I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait, I have a half sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. <laughs> All I'm saying is that you feel the earth to headbutt something. <laughs> I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? A little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. <laughs> Alright, fine. Don't go all 
That whistle, though. Yep. One who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was I wanted us to stand on her own. She wanted alliances with the other species. Is that why? Why it ended? Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Mostly it ended because she wanted to solve things a smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But then, you are a quarter crow. Now you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> it was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. No species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available, mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. And you're single, aren't you? You think Shepard is? <coughs> oh, no. No. I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. Really? I knew you'd be special, kid. Any daughter of hers. I told her, you're treating her like a baby bird, Nezzy. She's gonna raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. Better to remember her like this than as whatever she turned into with that Saren bastard. It wasn't her fault. She was trying to stop Saren, guide him as a force of good. But she was indoctrinated. Look, I heard stories about the Reapers messing with your head. They're more than stories. I've seen it. Every Cerberus soldier is a Reaper slave. She fought it with every fiber of her being. She even broke free and helped Shepard on Novaria before she died. I was there. She said I'd made her proud. Oh. All this time, I blame Nezzy for it. A thousand years old, and I still don't know crap. Thanks for telling me. Just take care of yourself out there. Okay, kid? I will, Dad. <laughs> hey. Oh. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commandos. Eclipse girls who uh, owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just tell them where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, That's pretty nice. Your damn pony. <laughs> you're the best father a girl could wish for. <laughs> well then. That was an interesting conversation, so I guess that's a white asset. Yeah, that was the one that popped up when we walked up. Uh, that was, was just, you know, a bit early. <laughs> that was entertaining. You could say, yeah. You could also say it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having one of your parents openly talk to you about how, about how sexually attractive they found their uh, they found your other parents you would be a little awkward yes yeah I have seen that situation a few times in different sources that's a strangely good thing now that I, like a strangely common thing that I think about mm -hmm. it Why can I interact with her? Who is she? 
Oh. Hi. Oh, hey. It's you two. The going gets tough and my former engineers hit the bar. Shepard, you're alive. I told you, nothing can take down Shepard. We heard about the Reapers attacking Earth, then Cerberus decides to screw you too. I can't believe we work for them. Not anymore. So you're not on the elusive band's payroll anymore? After the Alliance locked you up and impounded the Normandy, Cerberus recalled the whole crew. But we slept away. We were there for the Normandy. For you, nor for them. And there was something <laughs> creepy about those recall orders. Just didn't feel right. She's got good intuition. Cerberus helped us take down the Collectors. They served their purpose. And now it's time to pay them back, right in their daddy bags. Let us join you, Commander. We'll serve on whatever ship you fly. We want to help. Grab your gear. Yes! You've got Normandy back? Fantastic. I missed her. Thank you, Commander. We'll see you on board. Hmm. Nice. It's all different than I remember getting it, doing it, but okay. I'm just glad we get them back in the ship. Yeah, yeah, me no. too. They're so fun. I seem to remember it being, um, uh, there's a thing in the Spectre Terminal where you could, where they were basically in Alliance custody and you could authorize their release. Hmm. But this is a lot more entertaining. Yeah. Might be, might have been part of the mod. No, because it was voiced and that was the original voices. Yeah, good point. Unless, you know, the mod went all the way to get their voice voice actors on board, which would be hilarious. Impressive, too. But yes, hilarious. Am I missing anything? Okay, we've already talked to Garrus. We've already done stuff there, done there, done there. So yeah, we're done here. Finally! Time to hit the space! I'm probably talking to the engineers again when they in the... Yep. <laughs> Hello, always fun to talk to. Ain't they though? Yep. <sighs> Alright, so let's go visit our new engineers. I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Feels good to be in an alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Okay. Yep. I told you Shepard would come visit. <laughs> She's still his minder. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got over here? New article under Reloe. Basically, mm -hmm. it's a... It's a background race that had just joined the Galactic Community when the Reapers showed up. And in a bid to uh, survive, they've withdrawn from Galactic Community and destroyed all advanced technology to try and appear as a primitive race. Hmm. That might work. Udina on the Beckenstein negotiation. <clears throat> My negotiation team reports that you refuse to compromise with the Beckenstein government. Your desire to be virtuous is commendable, but we are at war, and the Alliance can afford to miss these opportunities. A few new colonial guardsmen have been assigned to our command, but it doesn't make up for the fact that we are not getting any of their industrial support. Yeah, well, their fucking problem. Let's see. From Arya. Petrovsky's ass is still in afterlife on my couch, but I need better numbers before I can take it back. Find me some cannon fodder and determinist systems and send them to Bray. I don't care wh uh, what they want as long as they can shoot a gun. Whoever survives is yours to command in your war against the Reapers. I've acquired the services of several transport companies accustomed to moving freight through the more objection, object, objectionable. Why am I tongue tied? Oh, yeah. Objectionable areas of space to assist you in retrieving whomever you find. Rendezvous with the captains in the Pultari system of the Hourglass Nebula. 
They'll want something in return once this is over, but I will negotiate their payment later. I actually have no idea what that's on about, but okay. I guess it's more people to grab the Omega back or something. Uh, yeah, it's pro oh, yeah, it's probably part of the mod that delays that DLC starting. Because normally you get an email saying that she's ready to do it, like, right now. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Especially since we technically haven't uh, recruited the other guy yet. <laughs> and blue sounds. Still need to yeah. get the general. And I forget, I swear it's probably somewhere in this region. Oh, hey, Hourglass Nebula. May as well go ahead and grab that. But one of these plants just has generic artifact uh, assets. But it's, you know, so mm. fucking long. Signal confirmed. What do we have here? Oh my. What are you? Boing. Credits. Credits are nice. And that's it from this system. So it would seem. Even though I do say 100%. Yeah, even though I swear I heard a ping. I found something. And what do we have here? Post garden world, huh? I mean, it doesn't look that attractive to me, that's for sure. Yeah, it sounds a lot like something happened to it. Terminus freighters recovered. Interesting. It's one of those games I feel compelled to stop at every planet and read the description, but it would take so long. Right. Commander, Liara thought we might find something for the Crucible here. Um, okay. Good to know. Signal confirmed. Second tier garden world. Yeah, that does look a bit better. Shadow Broker Starship Tech. Oh my. Oh, this is where um the Shadow Broker ship was, if I remember correctly. Oh, Maybe? I'm not sure. I think so. Well, well, no, probably not, since, you know, Liera kind of just took over that ship, so it was still operational. No, she scrapped... Uh, she, if we talk to her about it, she'll, she'll mention she scrapped it when she abandoned it. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, just driving it into, like, the sun or something like that. So it still wouldn't be in a planet. <laughs> no, either that or she crashed it into the planet, I forget. Listen, it's been a while. Is there anything in this system? Oh no, we've um, found everything. Oh. That will do it. Right, so... Should probably refill them. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to stop by the Citadel and refill. And we've got... A uh, side quest here. And side quest here. Oh, so find see. artifacts, yeah. That's the Phoenix Project, we're not touching that. And that's the main story. So, we're doing that last. Yeah. So, the real question is, which side quest do we want to do first? Prothean Artifact, or Rescue the Students? Rescue the Students. Alrighty then. Field right there anyway. Go, fi oh, go figure. Grissom Academy. 
to stay in the mission of the John Grissom Academy to mission in 2176 is to serve a student population demonstrating excellence and passion for math, science, and liberal arts. Its entirely human student body ranges in age from the early teens to mid-twenties. Although the fact is not heavily advertised, the institution offers classes for students with biotic capability. The school's Ascension Project seeks to train these students and integrate them into normal society. Nice. So, next time we'll be popping into Grissom Academy and being big goddamn heroes as usual. Yay! So, Bye. Next time. Later. Bye.